Hello everyone, I received some questions that elements are not de deleting when they are using composite damage in, in Abacus, CAE in Abacus itself. And if we can, if I can do something on that or I can comment something on that. There could be many reasons for that, such as element type you are using, the way you have defined the material model, and if you have really activated the element deletion and status of the elements during your simulation so these all are different factors and i will comment some of about some of those in today's example okay so first thing is i will create a part so i have created a simple geometry here with a crack tip as you see here and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fix this side in horizontal direction i fix this side in vertical direction and I will pull in this side and I will apply a tensile load so that I will have a stress concentration here and this will lead to some kind of failure in the composite along this line okay so this is the part I have created then what I do is I define the material properties so in this case I'm using engineering constants to define the material properties in all three directions so I have elastic constants Poisson ratios and shear modulus again I have taken these values from literature for damage i'm using hashin damage model in this case i have to define the strengths in long in tensile and compressive directions for fiber and matrix along with the shear stresses so that's what i have done again i have taken these values from literature and for damage evolution part which is after the damage initiated i am using energy based criteria with linear softening so my softening curve will be linear and the energies i am using again taken from literature okay and everything is millimeters so all the units are consistent with that then I, what i do is instead of creating any solid section or anything else as i do in the assignments what i'm doing i'm using the built-in function in abacus where i can define the composite layup as you can see here i am defining three layers and this is very important because depending on the number of layers your material can fail or not or your element can be deleted or not it strongly depends on this thing so in this case I have, I have three layers with 0.25 millimeter thickness and I am assigning the orientations as 0 45 and minus 45 degrees right and they are all using material one properties which I just showed you they are elastic constant in all three directions along with Poisson's ratio and shear modulus so just to see if my how it looks like you can press this information button or QD button and you can say apply stack plot and you will see it asks you which part you want to QD and when you click on that so you can see I have used 45 minus 45 and 90 degrees and it also gives me the X direction is this direction which is a pulling direction so you can see there are three layers and when all these three layers will be failed based on the hashing damage criteria with all the criteria satisfying only then the element will be deleted that's what i found out and i may not be completely correct but this is this is what i have found out and only then it will be deleted so if your element is not deleting it could be one of the reasons that all the hashing based damage criteria uh, criteria are not satisfied fully and that's why element is not being deleted again i will further comment on that when i will have more complicated loading i'm pre creating another video on wind turbine blades and I will comment on that in that in detail when I go through that in future video. So this is how I define the composite layups. Then I go to the next step module, which is the assembly module. So I will just I just instance the part which was the part one, which is this part here. Then I go to step and I have defined a kind of a explicit dynamic step here. So if you look at the step manager, it's an explicit dynamic step. I'm using a total time of 0.05 seconds and I'm not using any anything at all here so no no all the values are default for output what I have done is I have asked for the status as I normally do for any damage model because sometimes it helps sometimes it's not again you can see it says some of the failure models and plasticity models this might work some for not some for, for some it might not work so again you can play around with that or you can look at abacus documentation. also for damage I'm using I'm asking it to give me the output for all damage again their compression and tension for matrix fibers matrix etc so i all the all the damage criteria are there so when these let's say if it's a tensile direction for all the three layers and they've satisfied tensile in for fiber and for matrix and then for shear only then it will be deleted otherwise you might not expect it to be deleted okay 
so that's what i have done here for the interaction there is no interactions because i am not doing anything here for loading as you can see i have applied a fixed boundary condition on the right left hand side then i have a right hand side with a displacement of 100 millimeters in this case and i'm running it for 0.05 seconds so it's 0.05 times 100 millimeters at the end of the day and then i have fix in vertical direction here so everything is defined for boundary conditions perspective for meshing i'm using regular triangular mesh so what i do is i go here for the mesh option i have used tri elements you can use any other as well but i just prefer to use this one because i am using the same for the other model as well in 3d as well this is also a 3d but it's shell shell model right now and then i just mash it and i have this kind of meshing here the only important thing is you have to really select the shell explicit try elements which are linear and i'm enabling the element deletion as yes i don't really rely on the default but i say yes explicitly okay other than that then i go to the job i submit the job as i do normally and i can monitor for anything going wrong and you see everything went okay and it finished in time so uh, i can now go and look at the results so this is how it looks like after failure and you can see uh, it starts with, with this kind of behavior I am pulling from this direction and you see as the damage progresses your element starts to delete until it completely fails right now the, my point was since I tried different options and why I say that's my feeling that if you plot the compressive because some of your fibers you have three plies here some of the fibers may get compression or shear loads as well as come depending on the orientations and everything so you see I am reaching at some points one in my case and some elements are already deleted so it's going to one similarly if I look at uh, I will stop this thing here and if I look at the damage for for the other one it's also going up to one while for this also you can see it's going up to one and so on so when it goes to one you see all the criteria are almost satisfied in this area at least and that's why you they are deleted and not the other elements which are deleted because maybe this is showing one for this case which is a sheer damage but it's not it might not be the case for the other as you see here and that's why it's not deleted for some reason okay so this could be one reason but I, as you can see elements are deleted and automatically and there was no problem with that you can also look at the stresses and you can also see how it's evolved so it has all relaxed now but you see how the stress wave travels initially with the loading and then Maybe I use this one and then you see how the stress concentration goes on and then a stress concentration really causes this problem. Again, you see these elements struggle because maybe all the all the criteria which, which require it to be deleted were not satisfied until it's satisfied, it fails. Generally, when fiber and matrix fails both, then it should be deleting the elements. So I hope this quick video will show you or tell you what I meant by this and when they were asking about elements are not being deleted other way around is if, if it doesn't delete and i will show you in the other videos what you can do is so let's say if i can stop it here and let's say I take it back and let's say let's say I go somewhere in the middle of the step here uh, where i have some so, so somewhere here right so or maybe this is too fast so So let's say your element was not deleted right and you were here so what you did was you you will say okay what is your failure criteria maybe you say if my fiber and tension direction fail these elements should be deleted so you can manually do that by selecting the display groups and then you can say elements and then you say result values and you can say you can say that from so this will not be removed from the simulation but it will be removed from your post processing if it's a if the value of this thing is one or higher so let's say I call it 1.5 or whatever it will never go above one but one or higher than it should be removed so you see it's removed now so now if I go further back so you see there is nothing there and as soon as this criteria reaches to one it automatically starts deleting those elements which have one value right so although the other might not have satisfied other criteria but these criteria this criteria satisfies so it just feels 
so you can remove your sim it from there as well during post processing if your elements are not deleted but you have to make sure that these elements have zero stresses and they have failed in that direction because sometimes all the criteria might not be satisfied and you say that okay if my fiber is fail i will say it's gonna fail or if my shear there is a shear failure in my matrix material then i will say it's a failure so i you can delete based on that and you can show that it's failing in that direction but again this is this all depends on the analysts uh, instincts and experience what what they are what you are really look as an analyst looking looking for as an analyst so i hope this helps if you have any further questions then get back to me thank you very much and bye bye